Hello all, peace. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's being blessed and is happy and good. Um, we are still on lockdown in Vietnam. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little update today. They announced that the lockdown will go for another two weeks and it just keeps getting extended. I always know it's going to be extended. I have a feeling this is going to be long term and not short term. Uh, but yeah, they extended it for another two weeks until September 13th. Um, they had the most cases of uh, COVID today, yet to date. Um, so anyway, I get tired of all this depressing <laughs> stuff to say. Um, I, I want this channel to be a travel channel. And that, that's really what it's about is traveling around Vietnam. And of course, right now we can't do that. Um, but I thought I'd share with you a travel story just to brighten your day and make you laugh, maybe. I hope so. Um, in 2000, I think it was 2016, I was on my way from uh, Vietnam to America. And I always wear comfortable clothes on the flights, you know, like sweatpants and t shirts, you know, like comfortable clothes. Because I know it's such a long flight, it, it takes like. Uh, up to 30 hours to get to America with layovers and everything. It takes about 28 to 30 hours, um, and depending on the ticket you book, of course. But anyway, I was on my way from Vietnam to America, and I had a layover in Tokyo at Narita Airport in Tokyo, Japan. And I flew, it was a five-hour flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Narita, um, to Tokyo and I was wearing uh, what they call elephant pants in Vietnam they always call them elephant pants because they have elephant prints on them um, but they're really comfortable really light thin material and they're like pajama bottoms and they tie at the top and so that's what I was wearing for the flight that in a t-shirt and uh, it was still early in the morning so I decided to go get a cup of coffee well, I went to get a cup of coffee, and I, I got my coffee, and I had my backpack in one hand I was carrying. I didn't feel like carrying it on my back. I just carried it in my hand. So I had the backpack in one hand and the coffee in the other hand. And there was, it was a seating area waiting to get on the next, next flight from the 12-hour flight from uh, Tokyo to America. And there were about i don't know 30 to 50 people sitting in that section in the section of seating area there waiting for the for at the gate and they were all facing my direction um so anyway i'm walking through the airport and i see this little toddler he's he's, he's playing around farting around with everything and running around everybody in the seating area was watching him because they were just, you know, he was putting on a little show for him. He was, he was full of energy. Um, so I looked over there and I kind of laughed and thought, that's cute, you know. And he, he looks right at me and he starts kind of running, if you will. He was kind of waddling over towards me and he uh, got about five feet from me and I was just like, oh, this is, little, this is too cute, you know. And, um, so he kept coming towards me until finally he got to me and he reached out like he wanted me to pick him up. And I thought, oh, that's adorable. You know, he wanted me to pick him up and he walked towards me even farther. And then he got to me and he grabbed a hold of my pants and in one fell swoop, he fell down. He tripped, and he, he stumbled over and fell down and took my pants with him. So my pants are down around my ankles and I can't pick them up right away because I've got my backpack in one hand and my coffee in the other. And everybody over in the seating area was just, just erupted in laughter. And I'm standing there in my underwear um, with my pants around my ankles. And I had to put everything down to be able to pull up my pants. And the worst part about it was I had to go for the next 12 hour flight with all these people. They were all waiting for the same plane I was. So whenever anybody would look at me on the plane, they'd pass me and they'd laugh and point at me. And <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that was one of the funny things that I had on my travels. So uh, even though I'm not traveling, I can tell you some stories about it. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, everything's the same as it's been. It's we're on lockdown. We're in a stay-at-home order. Don't don't go anywhere. Not even for groceries or for um, for medicine. Which before you could go for groceries and medicine. They do have some people who are delivering medicine to our houses. You know, if we if we call, my wife takes care of all that for me. She she speaks Vietnamese and can relate. She knows where to call and who to call. And um, I'm like tomorrow. I'm getting some milk delivered. Um, so they're still delivering things to our houses. There's just a few um, designated delivery drivers that can deliver food and um, and supplies, whatever you might need. Um, but in the big cities in like Saigon, they're, they're relying on the military to, I, I think they get a slip from what I read, they get a slip, um, with a, it's just like a grocery list and they can, they can write down 15 items they need. And I think it's once every week or once every two weeks, they can write down 15 items and the military will go shopping for them and bring them their food or supplies, whatever they have on their list. Um, but we don't have that out here in the countryside. Um, we just, I'm relying on my wife. My wife is allowed to leave the house because she's pregnant. So, um, yeah, so she can go out because she has to go to doctors and get items for the baby when the baby's born. And, um, yeah, so she stops by the house and brings me some groceries about every two weeks. But, um, anyway, I posted on Facebook today. It's like being in the movie I Am Legend, um, where it's just like post-apocalyptic. Post That's a tongue twister. Post-apocalyptic. It's, yeah, it's really weird outside, and it's, uh, yeah. So hopefully this thing's going to blow over pretty soon, and... I don't think COVID's ever going away. Um, I think it's here to stay, and it's something we're going to have to live with, and we're going to have to learn to live with. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. I just thought I'd give you something comical to, to laugh at, and me and my underwear in the Tokyo airport. <laughs> and yeah, I had quite the audience. So <laughs> yeah, but anyway, all right. Well, peace out. Love you all. Subscribe, like comment. I'd love to hear your comments. I get a lot of comments lately and I love it. Uh, gives me something to do. Uh, peace out.